I was given 24 hours to drive from Atlanta, Georgia through Jacksonville down to Daytona to pick up a free truck or that truck was going to get sent to the junkyard. With such short time, I had no other option. I grabbed Jake. Jake brought his Tahoe on 26 by 16, which isn't the best vehicle to be towing things with. We stopped by our buddy's house. We picked up a trailer that wasn't ours. Oh, the text message that we got was, hey, there's a couple of sticks on the trailer. We had to drive to Daytona, pick up the truck, turn around, come back, don't get pulled over by the cops and make it back to Southern Tire. Now the truck's been sitting here for a year and I haven't touched it and I kind of want it. What should we do? Up there too. Oh my gosh. The one thing in this world I don't like and it is. Ooh, and it's spiders. Oh my. You ever get that feeling you're like, we need to get the hell out of here? This is one of those moments. Oh god. You gonna ride the tailgate? Yeah, I'm gonna oh. ride. This, this is my first voyage. It's kind of special. Maiden voyage. Kind of excited. Here. Does it have an exhaust on it? Uh, no, I, but so it is a V8 though. So we can get the. Uh, it is a V8, so I can. No way. I yeah. could. Yeah, it is recording. I could cut the muffler off, and it would sound pretty good. It's a V8. We got a sawzall. I have one in the Hummer right now. I'm not even lying. We might have not today, but why not today? Ah, uh, just send her on a main main voyage. Nah, not muffler. today. Not today. Ne next video. Bye. Maybe by the end of this video, we might cut the muffler off. <laughs> Just they never say never. Long time. He lied. It definitely has an exhaust on it. F one fifty. New boot goofing. Hey, if y'all haven't heard, Southern ties. That's where it's at. Repping the gang. Oh look, I'm actually stop sign now. Kind of, I'm about to fall off this thing. Oh, Chevy Silverado. Well, he decided to play bumper cars. Oops, he's in the truck. Twenty on ten. That's gross. <laughs> that's freaking nasty. That's protein for the fuel tank. Yeah, that's oh yeah, that's good stuff in there, you know. My my first time putting gas in the truck. You can definitely hear the rotors like as it's going around because there's so much rust built up. It's just it's she's a sweet peach. Just sweet peach of a of a Bro, truck. that's the name right there. Sweet peach. The, uh, the peach? But the peach. Put a big old peach decal in the... Me and, me and Peachy outside. Right peach? Should that be the name? Peachy? I dig it. You know what? Put mid-grade in her. You know? This ain't got a diesel, is it? <laughs> Put mid-grade in the old girl. She's only gonna, she's only gonna get about 10 bucks of my, my money today. But <laughs> I'm, I'm showing her some love. She, need, she needs a little bit of love, you know? It'll get you to the next gas station. Yeah, get, me, get me to the next next. Well, I'm gonna put about 12 bucks. I'm gonna put two gallons in there. There you go. Or I guess it's less than 10 bucks. Hell yeah. Anything for my girl. Sweet girl. Oh, it'd be great if it would have broke off. I wonder how long this Mountain Dew's been in here. It won't focus. Do Mountain Dews have an expiration date on them? I don't know, but this camera won't focus. February 15th, 21. Mountain Dew's over a year old. Pop is the it, top. Is it full? Yeah. Pop. Oh. All right. Oh! No, it's already now. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Not on the, not on the shoes, not on the shoes. All right, we're just gonna get it. <laughs> I think I gotta <laughs> get my, my bucket. <laughs> Spraying champagne, you know I like spray stuff. Did you show the YouTube channel your uh, ripped hands last night? I did actually, yeah. I forgot we filmed that last night, yeah. Me and Thomas went to a truck meet last night and I just just destroyed my pants right before I came to the truck meet. Just ripped them all on the inside. It was it was terrible. Yeah. Alright, let's let's take this thing back before I get it right. So now that I've I've kind of got the truck sitting a little bit where I want it to, it looks definitely looks better once especially once I get it cleaned up. Uh, I'm kind of back and forth whether I want to lift it a little bit and put the 35s on it, or if I want to just lower the back. I've really wanted to lower truck for a long time though. So I'm thinking about- Did you lowering. ever do the drop shackles on that one truck? I did, yeah, I did on the, the drop shackles body? on the single cab, yeah. And I mean, it lowered it a little bit, but being a long bed, it never really got that low. So 
I, I'm, I'm back and forth whether I want to lift this or lower it. Um, I, I don't really know. We can put the bumper on the ground. But next step is going to be the check engine light. I got to figure out why the check engine light's on. And then um, I think I've got my battery issue solved. So nah, check engine light's fine. Check engine light could be the cats. I mean, it could be a couple different things. Uh, I've had a check and engine light for years. And I need to get it cleaned really bad. I think that's that's probably, I'm going to get Matt to come by in a couple of days and clean it. You know how to fix the check engine light, right? Just cover it up. You put a little piece of tape on it. Yeah. I, well, I at least want to figure out why it's why it's on. I need to get the hood latch fixed. We're definitely going to go to the uh, to the junkyard soon and figure out, you know, if there's some headlights or taillights or something we can snag from, from somewhere. I'm kind of starting to really dig this truck a little bit though. Put some fog lights in it. We'll get, get the wheels cleaned up. Dang, I kind of want to slam this thing and just rip in it. Because it is a V8. No, let's build the motor. I kind of want to just rip this thing though. I don't know. It's tough. Let me know in the comments. Should we should we slam it, put a locker in the back, and, a, and you know, spin both the wheels? Or should we level it and put the 35-inch mud graps on it? Let me, let me know. The last update that you guys got on the truck is we left it for the weekend. We were having battery draw problems with the truck, right? So we purchased a new battery and I think Mikey had figured out what was going on with it. I think we had figured out that the previous owner had left like a dome light on or something like that. And the truck was currently, or the, the truck was continuously having some kind of a battery draw, which is why I would put a brand new battery in it and it would die overnight. So we put a new battery in it. I was gonna get a, a positive battery disconnect, but I think we had figured out what was going on. And this is the moment of truth. So we're gonna see just by opening the door. Good sign, the lights come on on the dash. This is a good sign. It's a good sign, baby. Good sign. Let's see. Let's see. So I left it Saturday. We left. We left it like 12 o'clock on Saturday. So it's been a full weekend that the truck has been sitting here and nobody's touched it. And previously, I put a brand new battery in and it was dead overnight. So. Woo! Let's go! Praise the Lord, Mikey. Thank you so much. You just saved me a whole lot of money in diagnostic fees. It's really what you just did. I'm so freaking excited. So, huge news for the single cab. No more battery draw problems. We have a running, driving single cab Ram 1500. It's currently got 142,000 miles on it. So you guys can see this, hold on. 142,000 on the dash, V8, runs and drives. manual windows. I got to get the rest of it cleaned out. Later in the week, we're going to have Matt come, Matt Odoms come down. Uh, does have cold AC, by the way. Does have cold AC. I'm really excited. A little bit of cold AC going in here. Let's take a little, let's take a little drive, shall we? Take a little drive. Check engine lights on. I got to get that figured out. need to pick a name for the truck. I like Bubba. I don't know why I like Bubba. I like that name. Somebody did comment that and I was really hoping somebody would. But we got some ridge grapplers on the truck now. I think next up we really need to do some brakes on the truck. Definitely needs brakes. But I want to do a leveling kit and some 35s. Yeah buddy! Yeah buddy! riding in style now so excited get my my daily little spin around the parking lot cold ac in that thing too what i don't even know how to act now what i don't know how to act cold ac i wonder if radio works Drives, baby. Let's get this. 
freaking bread. 